and welcome to Adventures of Sarah and M. My name is Sarah and this is Emmy. I have a wedding reception barbecue to go to tomorrow and I thought it would be a really fun idea to try and make a dress in a day, but this time on purpose because last time was just an accident. So this morning I decided that I was going to try that and then of course I started my day off by taking Emmy for a morning swim. <laughs> And now it's almost noon, so hopefully it won't run out of time. <laughs> Let's go fabric shopping and then and uh, maybe find some dry clothes too. <laughs> fabric shopping in my stash. This is a thrifted curtain panel. What do you think, Amy? And this cotton is from Facebook Marketplace. I went through all my patterns and I've picked out these two. I kind of want to try this one, but I also think I'm in a hurry, so maybe I should try a pattern that I've used before, which is this one. You should really iron before cutting, but I was on a deadline here. I did iron after. Anyway, the bodice doesn't have the overlay, so I just cut it from the cotton, but twice, once for the lining. I pinned the back piece to the side back, and the side front to the front. Someone is having fun in the background. I stitched these seams, but you can see that I skipped some pinning. This isn't a crazy curvy bodice, so it was fine. I ironed those seams with a pressing ham for curvy seams, and without for straighter seams. Now for the skirt! The pattern I had already cut was a high-low, which wasn't the look I was going for, so I pinned the excess pattern out of the way. I think there's a variation of this pattern that has an even skirt, but I didn't want to go searching for it. I cut that piece out again, but left seam allowance for the back. I cut the same pieces from the organza. I positioned the shoulder pieces on flowers and added half an inch to the shoulder so I could do a French seam there. Organza can be rather itchy. I cut bias binding for the armhole from the cotton. A French seam is sewing it inside out and flipping to sew right side out and enclosing the raw edges. I stitched the bias binding to one side of the shoulder and then folded it over the seam covering all those raw edges. I top stitched this because I'm on a deadline, but it looks a lot neater if sewn by hand with an invisible stitch. It took an embarrassingly long time to figure out how the straps were supposed to go. That will teach me to cut corners and skip the alignment notches. I'm usually pretty good at this sewing thing. Obviously, I made a pocket, but only one because I only have one phone. I added that to the right side of the skirt because I am right-handed, and stitched here. Pocket! I layered on the organza, which doesn't have a pocket, and basted it here. I added the bodice to the skirt, and it was time to add the zipper. I skipped ironing the zipper open, but it really does make a difference on invisible zippers. I always hand base zippers in, even if I'm in a rush. It saves me from ripping it out several times. I hand sewed the lining in at the shoulder piece seam. I hemmed the skirt by folding it over twice and stitching, but you should really iron and pin something like this before stitching it. Gosh, I hope this isn't your first sewing lesson because I am cutting every corner I can. I hand stitched up the lining here, and all I have left is to and stitched around the armholes and the yoke for the neckline. But it is absolutely gorgeous outside. And I know one little doggy who needs an afternoon swim. So I'm gonna finish this after the sun goes down. Do you want to go for a swim? Oh, big stretch. Okay, let's go. Go! Later that evening, I finished some hand stitching and added the neck bias binding. And it's done! I'm very happy with how it came out. And the wedding was beautiful. 